In Port Aransas, scientists from around the country descended on the beaches there to chronicle area wildlife. It's all part of a worldwide effort, but this was actually the scientists only stop in Texas. Island Moon publisher Del Rankin jumped on their boat and has this report. It's been 40 years since a comprehensive study has been done on exactly what type of marine life lives in the water around Port Aransas. But that changed this week when scientists from the Smithsonian Institute came to town to take part in the Geo Bio Blitz. The idea is to take samples of wildlife to set a baseline for what lives right here, right now. So what we're doing is we're going out and doing what's called a bio blitz. So we're, we're going out and trying to collect as many different species as we can find. I know we've already found over 300 uh, species and we hope to add to that. The researchers don't even have to always bring in samples. They can test for the DNA that marine life leaves behind and know what's out there. A technique called eDNA or environmental DNA, DNA. So every organism in the water sheds a little bit of DNA into the water. And so by taking a water sample or a mud sample, you can actually tell what species have been in that area without having to collect them all. Port Aransas is the only site in Texas. This is the first one in Texas. So, uh, so the Smithsonian has done these at a number of different locations. So right now there are 12 marine geo sites worldwide. About half of them are a little more are in North America, but they're also in places like Hong Kong and in uh, Peru and, and just different locations. Think of it as a census of the sea. We'll let you know what they find. For 3 News and the Island New Newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin, and we'll see you on the island. Never know what's in the water, right?